Good afternoon YouTube and welcome back to Fat Cat Collections and today I'm excited to share with you guys again another watch and I know I say that in, in, in the beginning of every single video it's been kind of like my, my catchphrase I'm excited to share with you guys and but the thing is I am every time I get a new watch I am excited to share it with you guys because there are so many beautiful watches uh, out there it's just fantastic to be able to have the opportunity to work with different brands and different companies and get my hands in this stuff uh, to, to share with you guys and see you guys buy them and then see you guys on the Facebook group sharing them. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I've been, you know, into watch collecting for a very, very long time and uh, I just love it. I'll never get sick of it. I'll always want new watches in my collection. I actually just listed a few of my Sterlings on eBay just because I don't get a lot of wrist time. I'd rather get ones that I wear a little more, but they were great to have for a while and just be able to share uh, with you guys. So, uh, today I'm going to be sharing a watch with you guys by a company called Renato. And if you haven't heard of Renato, they're owned by the Exo Watch Group. And under the Exo Watch Group, you have Renato, Exoskeleton, and of course Watchstar. And those are their three brands under that, uh, so so to speak, umbrella. Um, Renato has been around for quite some time, and there was a little bit of a, an issue I think back in the day before it was acquired by the Exo Watch Group. They were really big on the like a lot of the Shop NBCs and Shop HQ, and then I remember seeing them for years before I even really got into. Um, I mean, I've always liked watches and owned watches, but before I really started getting involved in actually collecting uh, different types of watches. And again, guys, I don't collect watches for these aren't investment watches. Uh, and again, that whole thing, investment, there's no guarantees with investment watches. Of course, there are watches you can buy uh, that you have a better chance of getting your money back or having it appreciate, but it's never a guarantee. eBay's flooded with, I mean, tons of luxury brands that are selling for less than what they cost retail. So again, but the, when I say non-investment, uh, these are watches that I buy, that I get, that I share with you guys, that I genuinely am interested in. Uh, sometimes I will make the purchase if it's something, depending on the company I work with, if it's something that I feel I want in my collection, I'll buy it. Uh, otherwise, you know, I'll, I'll buy it through Invicta stores or Shop HQ, wherever they have the best deal, eBay, whatever. Uh, so, um, it, but it's great to be able to get my hands on watches that maybe I, you know, you guys know if you watch for a while, I'm more of a flashier bracelet kind of guy. I'm not really too into the dress watches, although I have a lot of them. I still, I don't wear a lot of them all the time. I think there's a time and a place to wear them. Most of the time I'm a jean and t-shirt guy, so I like something a little bit flashier. But this watch is a work of art that I'm about to share with you guys. And this is Renato's new Moon Phase watch. Check that out. Uh, so I'm gonna, I wanna tell you a little bit about it. I just wanna get, just kinda show you guys what we're gonna be talking about today. And I want to read to you a little bit of information off their website, tell you a little bit about the watch, and then we'll show you what it looks like on the wrist. Now, this is, a, again, a moon phase watch. Obviously, you can see that big giant moon at the 12 o'clock position. Uh, you have three hands on this watch. I'm going to tell you what those are for and how they work. Obviously, two of them, you're obviously going to know how, that, how they work. But uh, So let me just put the watch down for a second, and I just want to tell you guys uh, about the watch. So it is, again, by Renato Watches. It's their new moon phase watch. Uh, this is actually a collaboration uh, between uh, a guy by the name of Martin Braun, I think I'm saying that correctly. And Martin Braun Watches is a pretty well-known watch company uh, that is owned by the Frank Mueller uh, uh, Watchland Group. Uh, so, and what, I guess to my understanding what Martin Braun did is he helped modify this automatic movement for this watch. And the movement in this watch is a very well-recognized, you'll see this movement in a lot of um, Comparably priced watches and a lot, uh, I guess, uh, very expensive watches. That's the uh, the the ETA 2824, and I have an Aqua Dive watch, I believe, with that same movement. It's either 2824 or 2820 something, 2821. I think it's a 2824 though, uh, and that watch is about two thousand um, dollars. It's a definitely a a what they would consider a, and again, I use a term. For me personally, a little loosely when I say higher end, because let's face it, an NH35 movement by Seiko, they can refer to it as a workhorse movement. Uh, a lot of the Miyota movements are fantastic movements. Uh, there are differences with movements naturally when you go looking at a Rolex. There are differences. I'm not a watchmaker, but there are a lot of really great channels out there. Uh, I want to just subscribe to the idea as I forget his name. I'll, I'll have to put a link in the description uh, where he, he rips apart you know, the Miyota movement uh, in a pro diver. Um, and then he, he, he took apart a Rolex movement, kind of explained the differences. And yes, there are differences, but these are still fantastic movements uh, that are going to give you years of, of, of you know great great time keeping and, and just a lot, a lot of uh, a lot of enjoyment. You know, so so again, this is a modified movement. Um, 
It basically says here, and I encourage you guys to read all this stuff. I don't want to read the entire thing here. I encourage you guys just to click the link, go to the eBay listing, and check out the watch in a little, in a little more detail. Uh, so some of the main points here, it is a 45 millimeter uh, at the bezel uh, case. So it's not a huge watch, but remember we get desensitized. 45 is still a pretty large watch uh, for a lot of folks. I mean, it's definitely a watch that's not, you know, when we start getting involved in those 38 millimeters, look like you're wearing a quarter on your wrist. That's a small watch. 45 and up is a pretty substantial watch in my opinion. Uh, although, you know, I take it to the extreme with the giant Invictas in a lot of cases, but I like all watches. So again, time and a purpose for every watch. I wouldn't wear a giant Sea Hunter to a job interview or to, uh, you know, maybe a formal event where I'm wearing a suit or something like that. It's time and place. So and again, it's just my opinion. You wear what you want to wear. It's, it doesn't matter. Uh, so it's 14 millimeters in case thickness. Again, the movement was modified by Martin Braun. Um, it has basically on the movement here, and I want to show you guys this. Again, you can see the exhibition window on the back. And I encourage you guys to click the link, check out the pictures. I know in my videos you can't always uh, you know, see this stuff with a lot of high resolution. But So what do you have on the dial here? You have your time of day, basically. You have your moon phase, and then see this red half moon down here, and hopefully you can see it. That's actually your day of the month. And so that will tick around the entire dial uh, up to the 31 days, of course. Um, to set this, there's actually two there's two uh, little pins on the side here, I'm not, or buttons we'll call them. You just take a little pin, and they're really hard to see, but you push right in there, and you push right in this one. And what that'll do, and I'll try to show you guys here on the video. Pretty, pretty innovative, I think. Um, so what we'll do here, and I'll just show you one of them. For the date, you'll see the date one easier. Yeah. So when you push, you have to use a little. Let's well, use a little tweezer here on that button. You can see, hopefully, by the video there. I'm trying to give you guys the best show I can here. You can see that that day of the month hand uh, jumping around. And so that's basically how you set the day of the month. Uh, same thing with the other push pin. That's how you're going to set the moon phase on this watch here. Uh, now, I'm not really sure. Um, I think what you'd probably have to do to set the moon phase is probably, and again, I'm just assuming here, you probably want to Google somehow the actual, uh, I guess, live position of the moon or the, the, the phase of the moon and set that accordingly with the watch. Um, if you guys have <laughs> more, uh, I guess, knowledge about that, drop a comment. Let me know. It's always helpful for anybody who might buy the watch. Um, if you do buy the watch and you like it and you have an issue, uh, by all all means drop me an email my email address is in the description you find me on the Facebook groups Invict Addiction and uh, you know I'll, I'll get an answer to you one way or another so really really cool the way you set those two parts of the watch uh, and again of course setting the times is your standard uh, crown you pull to a number two position and you set the time uh, it is a screw down crown so you do have a little bit better water resistance on this watch than you would on a non screw down crown um, now what's cool about this watch is that they say here on the listing that um, the watch is designed to be perfectly accurate and I sh they shouldn't say perfect because no watch is perfectly accurate. Uh, unless it's like a quartz and even then it's not always perfect. Nothing in life is perfect. Um, well, my videos are pretty, they're just kidding. All right, so um, it says here, if you when you set this moon phase, and as long as the watch, remember it is an automatic. So if you're gonna wear this and set this watch, set the time, set the moon phase, in order for this watch to continually keep the moon phase and keep the time, it has to be put in a watch winder. Now I've said for me, uh, many times I've said it on the channel that I don't use watch winders just because I have so many watches I'm constantly rotating my my collection on my wrist so you know for me I'll wear a watch once and I may not wear it for a couple weeks after that and so I'm constantly have to sit, having to set my watches uh, so with this here um, I think you know for somebody who's always looking to have that be a hundred percent accurate uh, or not, you know, but but more accurate. Uh, you're gonna have to have it in a watch winder when you take it off. So, and that, those are pretty cheap. You can pick those up on eBay all day long. But it, what it does say here is this: if the moon phase were wound for uh, for 122 year, 122.5 years, if it were wound, you know, obviously, it would only deviate by one day. So that's pretty amazing to me. 122 years, it would only be off by one day. So that's incredibly accurate. Again, nobody's ever going to be able to put that to the test, uh, but it is pretty amazing uh, to, that it does have that um, accuracy. They say it has that kind of accuracy. Um, and it's just it's, it's, the, the, the timepiece is exquisite. The dial is not flat, and it is hard to see on the pics. And I'll try to show you guys. And because it's a black watch, it's very difficult to see. I'll try to turn it sideways. Well, you could see 
that there is a kind of the earth is actually carved out of that there. So it's not completely a, a flat black uh, face. And what's kind of interesting too, it almost looks like that you have the continents um, in kind of a flat black and then everything else behind it is made to kind of simulate the ocean. It almost has the appearance of what you'd expect from like a meteorite, although it's not meteorite, but it kind of has that uh, sort of look. So it's very interesting to look at. I love the way that they set the, or, or how you set and how it keeps track of the day of the month, how that hand just jumps right around uh, the entire uh, dial. Really, really interesting watch. Um, a lot of precision making something like this. I do find it very, very, very amazing. I mean, it's just absolutely stunning. And so, as far as the rest of the, uh, as far as the rest of the specifications, that's really about that's really all they have on the listing. I mean, it's pretty much pretty much speaks for itself. And but the pictures are really pretty. They're pretty good on here. You can definitely see a lot of the detail uh, and the exhibition window and a lot more detail on the face. Uh, then I can actually show you on the video, but I wanted to share with you guys and wanted to uh, just you know express uh, how cool I think the watch is, and of course, most important part of the videos when I review a watch is showing you guys what it looks like on the wrist. Now I'm about five foot uh, seven and a half. I weigh about a hundred. Uh, what, what am I, 189 pounds right now, uh, and I have about a seven inch wrist. So this is what it's gonna look like in a guy my size, my height, my weight. Again, 45 millimeter um, is smaller for a lot of the guys who are used to. Uh, the Invicta style watch or the Aragon style watch or those big dive watches, but what a great piece to have in your collection. I mean, even the band uh, or the back of the clasp here, how they've um, they've decorated. And this is kind of some of the clasps to Renato. I've seen this in a lot of them, a lot of their clasps. They have a milled clasp, but they have sort of this like swirled pattern where it's it's not just a piece of stainless steel. It's it's decorative. You know, I think that's a really cool addition. Again, you have that exhibition window on the back showing off that beautiful uh, ETA movement. Awesome fold over double push button deployment clasp with the Renato logo on there. Uh, it just really is a work of art. And that's what's cool about getting these watches uh, to share with you guys. Because, you know, like it's not, not every watch am I going to want to purchase from a manufacturer, but it's great because not everybody has the same tastes. You know, some of you guys may look at some of the watches that I wear by Invicta and say, hey, I like the brand. I enjoy some of the Invicta watches. But you know, I don't. You know, seventy millimeters, or you know, you know, Grand Octanes, or Sea, sea Hunters, or uh, they're they're way too big. You know, uh, so there's something for everybody, and it's always great to get my hands on something I could share with you guys. And one of you guys might be out there looking at the videos and say, "Man, I didn't know that one existed. Let me go ahead and pick that up." So let me pop it on the wrist here. I'll show you guys what it actually looks like on a guy my size here. If I can get it clasped, clasped here, I think I. There we go. All right. So you can see seven inch wrist. Uh, 45 still doesn't look small by any means uh, for you guys who are more of a traditional style uh, watch wearer who like watches in the size of like a Rolex which is like 38 to 42 millimeter uh, this is larger of course uh, but you know not every again not everybody likes watches that are uh, this large even and a lot, you know so again there's something for everybody out there and I think that Whatever you, whatever gets you into watch collecting and enjoying this awesome hobby, and uh, I can't tell you the number of conversations I've I've had with people and friends and, and uh, coworkers over the years, uh, showing off these great timepieces. Uh, each one is just is like a it's, like I said, just like a piece of art on your wrist. Uh, they, they they do more than just tell time. They really are fantastic. Now, I don't own a Renato watch yet in my collection. Uh, it is something I do want to pick up uh, someday. I'm not sure which one I will get, but uh, this is definitely a contender. I just absolutely love that moon phase and what has gone into uh, producing this watch. It, it really is a stunning piece. All right, guys, well, that's about it. That's the Renato Moon Phase, just a work of art. Price point, uh, if you do want to pick this up, it is available through the link in the description uh, through the Renato, uh, uh, the actual manufacturer. Now, when you do go to my listings, it will say bid for Invicta. He, that's his, uh, he actually sells Invicta watches as well on eBay. So uh, if you go to his store, don't look at that and be like, well, I want to buy it directly from Renato. That is Renato. So uh, you can buy it right through Bid for Invicta. Again, link is in the description. Uh, this watch will cost you $1,399 or $1,400 uh, shipped to your door via eBay. It's one of the few places you can get the watch. And as far as different variations in color, I haven't really researched too far into it, but it looks like it is available uh, you can get it in like a rose tone, looks like a yellow tone, a stainless steel. Uh, price does vary a little bit. The black one's a little bit cheaper. Um, 
as far as I can tell. Let me just click the silver one here and see what that's going for. Yeah, so if you want to get in the silver variation, which is, is beautiful also, uh, you're looking at uh, $15.99. So, uh, again, always check the listings. Uh, I always want you guys to get the best deal. Uh, I like with any watches like this, especially Renato, uh, to buy directly through the manufacturer in case you do have any kind of issues. Or I know one guy had bought one of the Watchstar watches, and uh, they didn't send them the box. So, you know, he put up a comment on my page, put up a comment on, uh, I think, on one of the Facebook groups linking me in it. And uh, the manufacturer was great. He saw that I was linked in it. He saw that the, the guy, you know, unfortunately didn't get the box. And it was nice to have sent him out two boxes, solved the problem. So uh, it's great to buy. You have a little bit more of a personal um, experience when you're buying directly through the manufacturer. So, so that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, once again, I want to thank Exo Watch Group again for sending these awesome watches to share with you guys. It's always a pleasure working with them. And uh, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, don't hesitate to ask. You, you can get me at uh, in description. There's my uh, my all my Facebook links. You can get me at my email address in description. Drop a comment. I always get back to people every single day. Uh, so I'm here to help, guys. So let me know what you think of the watch. Let me know what you think of the video. If you like the content, subscribe to the channel, but do click the bell. That's the only thing you gotta do, is click the bell to be notified anytime I upload a new video. Because otherwise you're gonna be subscribed and you'll never know I put up a new video unless you get notifications and that's pretty important. So guys, have a great weekend and take care.